All right, thank you, Eric. Well, two South Dakota organizations received a total of $685,000. The Bush Foundation and the South Dakota Community Foundation helped select Lost and Found and Black Hills Special Services Cooperative for the prize. Joining us this morning from Lost and Found is Eric Mucky, and from Black Hills Special Services Cooperative is Morgan Van Hayden. Good morning to both of you. Good now, um, I'm going to start with you, Eric, real quick. Lost and Found, what is that? Lost and Found is not where your phone has been lost. <laughs> Lost and Found is the region's largest youth and young adult suicide prevention nonprofit. Uh, we serve from Minneapolis to Spearfish and just about everywhere in between. And our focus is on peer mentorship for youth and young adults, um, helping organizations measure mental health outcomes and providing support to suicide loss survivors. Of course. Now, is this a relatively new organization to the area? Relatively. Um, I know our services, especially in the Black Hills for our viewers, uh, we really expanded our services into the Black Hills about two years ago. Okay. So fairly new. Uh, we have a staff member based in Sturgis and looking to add more to that team, but um, relatively new to, to the Black Hills, um, not so new to the rest of South Dakota. Yeah, and now uh, Lost and Found won $185,000 for this prize. Black Hills Special Services got um, the full amount, $500,000. That's quite a bit. Um, what does Black Hills Special Services plan on doing with some of that money? Oh, that's a great question. So this is for our Community and Family Services Division of Black Hill Special Services, and we truly are helping all families from cradle to career w within schools, within communities. Uh, we're just excited to work with all communities across the state um, in a variety of different ways, and it, it's just it's very exciting when you have these hopes and dreams, and you are seeing the impact and you're making those differences. Mm -hmm. And now with like with this blessing, and it's. It's very excited. Very excited about this. Yeah, this is a big like, prize. This is, this is yeah. exciting. It really is because I know sometimes grants come and you know hundred thousands are usually big ones, but to win half a million dollars, yes. that's pretty awesome. It's are, yes. Are there any specific um, tasks that you guys, uh, excuse me, Black Hill Special Services plans on doing with it? Right now, we are. We work with a lot of different communities doing a lot of different impactful things, like I said, in a variety of different ways. Our hope with this is that we can actually expand and then help some different communities find a way that they can help it become sustainable, but this will be that jump start to making those impacts. Yeah, I'm going to jump back to Lost and Found real quick. What does Lost and Found plan on doing with their money? Yeah, our support um, statewide plans to increase, particularly when it comes to our college campus work, but I know part of the work that we're actually hoping to do with this uh, set of funding is actually expand our suicide loss survivor support work statewide, and um, there's a tremendous need. Uh, suicide is now the leading cause of death for South Dakotans under the age of 29, and so finding ways to make sure that resources are available to communities, especially those that are in crisis is really what we plan to do with yeah. those funds. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us both, th both of you this morning. Quite a big amount of money won for both of you through the Bush Foundation and the Bush Prize. All right. We'll see you right after the break. Thank you.